Earlier this year, Slim and I decided to travel to Europe for two months and explore from country to country. We went to a lot of new places and tried some never before adventures. That also included trying a lot of new foods. a lot. So by the time our trip had ended, we had definitely gained some weight. Now that we are back home, it's time to lock in and lose weight together. We're going to bring you guys along throughout these next few months and show you how we lost a combined total of 70 pounds. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and get ready for this wild transformation. y'all so it is a new video What's as that? you see we are back at home after vacationing in europe for two whole months not only did we do a lot of traveling we did a lot of eating yes we did <laughs> okay we we <laughs> ate everything from pastas to pizzas to more pasta and more pizzas and more, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> we ate a whole bunch no question which leads us to now we are home and we are about to lose weight majorly listen we just love to eat but anyways we about to show y'all what we look like right now you are going to see all the rows all the self-conscious things that y'all may not know about but your boy looking like a slab of clay over here man it's all a part of the journey so for sure by the time y'all see this video anyway, we're going to be so shredded. I don't even care what I look like right now. Yeah, so. but we're giving y'all transparency and vulnerability right now in hopes and pursuit that this can help y'all make y'all transformation as couples, individually, spiritually, mentally. There's a lot of different reasons why you want to stay in shape and get in shape. Yeah. And we got to detox majorly. And before, like Jazz said, we want to take this big major next adventure. We want to make sure yeah. by then it's going to be close to summertime. We want to have our summer bodies ready, yeah. right? Right now we in full winter bodies, okay? <laughs> so let's get started. We're going to show y'all what we looking like right now. All right, dude, let's just pop the hood. Pop the hood. <laughs> Damn, pop the hood, man. Am I looking at birds, huh? Crazy. We just been eating good. Come on, man. Look at the bowling ball. Huh? I got some back fat? I know I got some up here. I love it. <laughs> I, I mean, that's how you know when you're getting fat, when you put your back fat on top of your back. Yeah. When you're laying in the bed. Yeah. So, yeah. Look at them joints. Damn, that nigga look crazy. I look crazy, but it's all right though. Part I'm of the process. I'm gonna get shredded up regardless, man. So it don't even matter. I don't do I look like I got muscles? Mind you, it I'm takes him two days to lose 10 pounds. Yesterday I weighed in at 271. So yeah, I mean, this is the biggest I've ever been. Like, I'm pretty embarrassing right now. Side perspective, let's get this word light and see it. That enjoy look crazy. Look at this. I ain't never had this. I, I don't know why I lost, I ain't got fat and lost weight like two, three times in my life already. I'm an all or nothing kind of person, as you can tell. So, hey, look at that joint talking to you. It's like a muppet, like you know when they talking like. The, <laughs> it's like hello. What the girl say? Throw Shamu back in yeah. the pool. Oh no, yeah, be white Shamu. Somebody throw Shamu back in the ocean. Wow. Okay, okay. That was crazy. I'm always gonna love you. No, that's wild though. Come on, let's keep it G, y'all. Keep it G, keep it G, G love. Man. That joint look crazy. Big spread on the belly. <laughs> <laughs> the jig is up. Here's what we got, man. Uh, boom. Bam. Sorry, bro. Watch me shred out, man. It's about to be easy. Okay, so this is the raw, vulnerable me right now. So, listen, I got my, my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I got my arms. This is me. But uh, yeah, man, that's me. So this is all no sucking in, just I'm trying to lose 20 pounds. 171 was like a really good weight for me. I felt really, really good because I don't want to be too skinny and I don't want to be too thick either. And 170 to 165 is like my perfect spot. So yeah, man, that's me. So let's go over our goals. We are giving ourselves 90 days to lose our weight. 
Slim's starting weight was 271.5 with his goal being 220. My starting weight was 191.3 with the goal of being 165. We got a lot of work to do. Let's get started. It's day two. Woo! Seven in the morning. Let's go. So here's our daily routine right here. It is to bring Zeus on a nice, good, long walk. Let him get all his new smells and different things like that. And for about an hour or so, or maybe an hour and a half, and then we go to the gym. And we head to the gym, baby. I'm gonna take off and see what Come on, Papa. Look at my little mountain climber, baby. Good boy. And good job to you, too, baby. Oh, thanks, baby. Can I drop my wallet down here? Oh gosh. All right, time to find the wallet. Come on, boy. Juice boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Good boy. We found the wallet. Come on, boy. <laughs> Good boy. He likes his adventures. First day back in the lab. We working. We working. <laughs> So today is number four on the workout and eating right healthy consistently and we got big months left to go. But today, as we're on our way to the gym, we decided mutually that we would leave Zeus by himself at the crib for the first time. And Jazz is worried crazy. I'm watching him on the cameras. Obviously, y'all know we got cameras all around our house and uh, Jazz is utilizing the joints right now. Yeah, parked up too. I told her the whole time we're at this gym working out, she is not going to be able to not keep her eyes on the camera while we over here doing deadlifts and curls. She's going to have a phone right there on the line, like, <laughs> day four in the books. See how we get to the gym or whatever we feel like flicking on this camera. It might be day five, day six, day 20. She can't even look at her. <laughs> it is day 11, and I currently want to say F it. <laughs> I'm not feeling the gym today. We're halfway done, but I do not want to be here at all right but now. But we here, and we getting to it. When I was a kid, I was a phenom. When I was a kid, I was a beast. I pull up, then I be gone. See ya. See ya. See ya. Be gone. See ya. See ya. See ya. Be gone. Thumbing through the blues, no BB King. Back to back shifts, so I'm just looking for the ring. I wake up, I brush my teeth. I wake up, I ball to three. I wake up like, ooh, that's me. Brand new car, like, ooh, that's clean. Track suit pins, don't wear no jeans. I'm athletic. Count up a hundred like calisthenics. Talking about a bag, you got bad credit. New MX, we don't use debit. Calling. Brand new deals, keep calling. Tell them, bring them through, need all them. Four whole kids still balling. I just get up and I zoom. Come on, man. Let's get straight. Woo! It's another day in this biatch. Yes, and your boy looking like burnt toast. My baby been walking every day. When I tell you I got sunburn on my neck, arms, everything. From the house like to the toast, the you gym. gotta scrape with the butter knife. Yeah, from the house to the gym, every day I walk that. Uh, 5.1 miles, and Jazz meets me here. And then we work out. Wait, five miles. This is not five miles from the house. It's five point one miles. Look it up on your phone. It is. Look it up. It is five miles. Damn. Five point five, actually, to be exact. Wow, I didn't know that. And we park all the way in the back of the gym. Or I mean, that's not even the gym parking lot. That's like. That's a whole different establishment. Yeah, 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 for Let's sure. This way, come on, baby. But so. So far, I have lost five pounds. So far, my baby has lost thirty pounds. Facts. And this is our fourth week in working out and i refuse to cut my hair i refuse to cut my hair for whatever reason that is i'm growing it out man i'm in my grind mode phase my oh, baby just look at her look at her yeah. see how you can't see like cheese anyways we about to walk into the gym so wish us luck you dig it is officially one month it's officially one month today yep here's how i'm looking y'all i still got a little little well blubber on there just lay it up a little bit. You know what I mean? All in all. 
So, so far in a month, you've lost... Like 30 pounds almost. In a month. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been going hammer. All right, so I have officially lost eight pounds in one month. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Uh, I see it in my face. I see it in, like, my back because my back stores a lot of fat. My stomach because we've been doing abs every single day. Uh, so our workout is we work out five times a week. And on the two off days, we still go to the gym to go swimming. And every day we walk zoo, so we're getting steps in. Well, now we're starting to swim every day, starting today. Yeah, yeah, we're starting to swim every day. And getting day. a hot tub every day. So far, we're doing really good. We're staying consistent. It's been an easy slash tough month, for sure. Like, there were definitely some days where it was tough. Hunger is one thing, but then there's times where we're fatigued and hungry. Don't feel like going to the Don't gym. feel like going. And then we ultimately do go. And then we might not go in there with the same tempo, same strength, same enthusiasm, but we get the job done. Yeah. And then we always feel a billion times better when we leave. Because when you, when you don't want to go and then we force ourselves to go, mm -hmm. is obviously, honestly, when we feel at our best when we leave. Because it's like yeah. you do something you don't want to do and then you yeah. did it, you feel highly accomplished. Um, versus just sitting yeah. in the bed and then knowing you didn't do what you were supposed to do today. You know what I'm saying? And God bless us with the air to wake up the next day, the health, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the, the spirit, each other, mm -hmm. and just everything. There's so many things to be thankful for. So when we wake up and then we don't do our part, you feel extremely guilty because deep down, you know, God is blessed in you, gave you another opportunity another day to get better and be do better. And then you don't, it, it makes, it kind of weighs on you. So what is today, baby? Like day 35? Oh man, can y'all read Jazz's energy? <laughs> It's okay, come on, baby. You know, this is like, come on, mama. What's your mama? This is so excited about this. Give me a hand. Okay. I ain't proud of you, baby. Look at me. You are fine. Outdoors and with the Louis V's on your eyeballs covering the pupils. Good boy. All right, come on, baby. Come on, you're doing phenomenal. We're gonna get these 25K plus steps a day. So today is the first day of walking 25,000 steps for one whole week, every day. So currently I'm at 5,000 steps, so we have a long way to go. Uh, we just got started. We're currently going up a hill right now, but we're just walking, we're not running. Just like a easy pace. It'll probably take us a couple hours because like I said, we're just walking. So it's like it's 15,000. We still got to go to the gym. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me, show you how uh, the first day is. I think and, uh, I inspired and motivated you. Yeah, my baby, he's on a two, basically a whole month streak of getting 25,000 steps every single day. So he has encouraged me to try it for a week to see how much weight I lose in a week. I've already currently lost going on almost 10 pounds uh, just from working out. So I'm going to incorporate 25,000 steps for a week and see what happens. Because for those who don't know, when you walk, you burn your fat reserves, not yeah. carbs, right? So when you walk, it has a, it targets just the fat in your body. Listen, I am not a gym rat, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. And she me. has asthma. And I have, I got my full inhaler in this fanny pack. So I'll let you know how, how the first day goes. And sorry for the car noise. Yeah, sorry for the We're car noise. We're going uphill on the road right now. Okay, so we'll get back to y'all. We're sitting on the bus stop, help us please. About two hours in into our walk. Yep. We had to stop by Starbucks to get some water because I'm thirsty. But uh we are headed back home now, so yes. <laughs> my feet hurt so bad. They hurt so it's the bottom of my feet that hurt. It's like rubbing together and it hurts really bad. She's talking about this part like right here on the ball, right? From the toe to the front ball of your foot. Tell me she's tired and wiped without telling me she's tired and wiped out. How many miles do you think you got back home? Like three? We got um, like three or four miles back home. Let me see, let me see if home. We got a 3.4 mile walk and an hour and 14 minute walk back home. So you're pretty accurate. I'm about to call an Uber. <laughs> Burnt 1,133 calories. They walked nine miles and 49.41 miles. Now let's see how many steps I got. Now this bitch, 
Don't say 25. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see. I'm at 20,984 steps. Good job. At first it said 7,000, that's why I was like. Well, I got 21,000 steps, dang. I'm proud of you, baby. And we still gotta go to the gym. Yeah, and we still gotta do the treadmill, stairmaster. Abs, abs, pool. pool, swimming, and hot tub. And today's leg day. <laughs> Let's just go now. Come on. Hell no, baby, you're crazy. <laughs> I could never. Put down. We're going to the gym right now. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> this is what y'all see on the way to the gym. She tried to rash it any little time she got. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? So obviously today is a whole new day and we're getting ready to go to the gym. But before we do go, I want to thank the sponsor of this video today, and that is Aura. Now I don't know about y'all, but I get a lot of random spammer robo callers all the time. But ever since I've signed up with Aura, that's completely stopped. Now, if you're one of those many of people just like me where your information has been sold to all these different robo callers, spammers, and all these different things. Or can help you too. Or helps with identifying data brokers that have exposed your information. So I don't know about y'all, but Jazz and I got real tired of them spamming robocalls and all that stuff. So we got Aura monitoring all our information right now as we speak. So Aura makes all of this really easy by doing everything for you. You don't have to do absolutely nothing. They make it super convenient. And all you have to do is sit back while they submit your information and they take care of everything for you. Now, if you don't want to take our word for it, guess what? There's a link below in the description. All you got to do is click it. You get two whole free weeks from Aura for free. You'd be surprised how much information of yours is potentially out there on the dark web that you do not want there and you can also get it at an affordable price so now that you've been informed with all that make sure you click that link below in the description right now just like we did and make sure you get your two weeks free with aura right now by going www.aura.com slash love is slim so we're currently in here swimming right now so i'm gonna put you on a little game we actually seen somebody with this this is a game changer so that way you ain't gonna focus on Catching your breath, every swim and every lap, because it's like a front snorkel, so it's not to the side, so don't get in the way when you're doing your laps. You see how Jazz is coming up right now? She doesn't have to come up for the, for the air. Horace Grant, don't it? Light skin version. The glow in the dark version. It's always good when you ain't gotta come up with water or air. I know. When you sitting behind that thing, I get to see that day. <laughs> you just look at it like this underwater. 4K. You ever seen 8K underwater? Not 8K. That's 8K, man. You need a different type of fiber optics to see what I be seeing under that water. So we got six bags of ice. So we've been thinking about investing in like an ice bath thing to where we've been 
where we can recover. Like just help with the recovery process, your muscles. My knees been killing me. I know I got some basketball kneecaps. And um, long story short, before we go as far as investing in like an ice bath company place and you know, doing all that research and all that stuff and finding the best people and the best brands and best companies, we said we're gonna do this kind of consistently and see if we even like it or not. This is Jazz's first time doing an ice bath. So this is actually gonna be pretty funny. And y'all know she's reptilian. She likes, through all the videos y'all ever seen, you know, she does not like being cold. She likes being very warm and hot. Only time she likes being cold is when she's sleeping. But this is kind of expensive. We just paid $34 and some change for an ice, for ice, for a nice bath. So you think about it, if you do the math, if you spend $100 every day, that's three grand yeah. in a month. On ice. So if you do $50 a day, which is almost about where we're at, you're about $1,500 a month. So granted, we didn't need six bags of ice. But the reason I wanted to take our time and do this before we actually invested in like the ice bath company is one, we, we're, we're definitely making a lifestyle change. So that would be a good investment for us and our bodies. But two, just do research on taking ice baths every single day. When I was in college, that's when I learned about it. Um, I used to, my first few years of hooping didn't really bother me as much. And my last two, three years of being division one, playing basketball, if you know my life story, I was doing ice baths all the time, every single time after practice, after strength and conditioning every chance I pretty much got. And your body feels brand new when you're done. It's just the initial getting in there. It's like, oh, it's like the polar plunge, baby, what we did in uh, Geneva, Switzerland. Yeah. Now you're all ice in. You know, ooh, that's cold, just a touch. I ain't took ice wrap in a long time. Maybe I should have just did one back or something. <laughs> I've lost almost a total of 40 pounds, almost. Today, I weighed in at 234.6. Y'all know from the beginning of this video, I was 271, I believe 0.5 when we started. And Jazz has lost a little bit over 10 pounds since we started our journey as well. But for those who don't know, women, she's been doing the same thing I've been doing every single day, aside from 25,000 steps for like two months straight almost. But uh, women lose weight, uh, women lose weight slower than men. So essentially, it's both been a drastic change in the both of us since then. So. You get the gist. But anyway, we're gonna wait for this to fill up. Oh damn, that shit's solid, baby. Look, that's like one big. Yeah. <laughs> and Jazz gets to go first. Go throw your baby suit, baby. <laughs> you wanna get in there? Hell no. <laughs> this thing looks freezing. Yeah. Okay, Ten, so. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Ah. Straighten your knees, straighten your knees. Lean back, lean back, lean back. And breathe, big breaths. Big breaths. Yep. Zeus is so concerned for his mom. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, baby. Good job. Yeah, it's freezing, ain't it? One to ten. How cold? Give him my legs. Good. That's how you know it's working right. Would you say? So it's definitely a ten. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're burning and they're cold at the same time. Yep, that's exactly how it feels. <laughs> like an icy hot all over your body. Yeah. And then it messes with your breathing. But then before you know it, your breathing will be normalized. And then before you know it, you'll be pretty much your body's going to go numb. And then that's when you're going to feel like, okay, I'm cool. Just chilling here until it gets a little higher on your stomach or a little lower on your back. I'm so proud of you, baby. This also helps with fat loss, y'all. So just like another little fun fact, recovery, inflammation, all that good stuff. I think I'm officially gone now. That quick? My whole body is like tingling right now. Like I feel my whole body's numb. I can't even, I, him licking, I can barely, if it wasn't for me looking down, I wouldn't even know he was licking my leg. <laughs> How does your knee feel though? I can't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and it's 
753, so you got to 758. I'm gonna need you to figure out how to put that leg in there, that sir. <laughs> yeah, you better figure it out. Put the leg in there. Shit, me, I thought it'd be warmer if you could. Oh, yeah, you did. You did like a G, baby. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. I thought it was about to be shit out of these dudes all the time. Baby, I'm sweating. That's all. Were you sweating? No, you're sweating. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating. This might be a mixed reaction. <laughs> Ice bath making a nigga musty. <laughs> <laughs> this is the main knee though. This is the knee that I had surgery on in college. Well, after college when I got my overseas contract, I blew my knee out. I tore my ACL, my meniscus, and my MCL all at the same time. I did my rehab for a year straight. Did everything they asked me to times two. And um, for longer than they asked me to do it too. And I still do it in my low stretches here and there and whatnot. And that knee still give me problems. So, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, your whole stomach red. Yeah, I told you. That's crazy. Big Caucasian, man. There we go. That's one. You have like a whole line on the side like of your stomach. Like a tan stomach. line. Yeah. Yeah, I seen it. Zeus, you next, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good, though. Good. Now I'm too. Yeah. Take your time. Thank you, baby. It's, a, it's an honor. You're Which one's around there, man? Bye. <laughs> that's, that's it for the bath. <laughs> for the bath segment. <laughs> so it is day 68. 68. You looking good. Man, she looking amazing. We day 68. Lost, we lost a lot of weight combined. Feeling good. We're actually about to go take Zeus on a walk and then head to the gym. She's done amazing this whole entire time. And she's gonna continue to do good. I like back though, baby. Ain't that much fat back there. Ain't nothing back there. Uh, yeah, I know. It's good. You know what? still something back there. She's not as prolific. But yeah, man, it's been it's been really good. Um, I ain't gonna lie, definitely helps having a partner mm. in this. Like For my sure. baby, he he makes my foods to make sure mm. I'm on track. He yeah. walks with me. We go I to log the gym. the numbers on the fitness pal. Like I said, we'll make a whole video. We yeah, should, we will. Like to show y'all like what we do literally every day yeah. to have gotten this weight loss thus far. So far, I'm basically down 20. For sure. That, Amazing. But, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And it hasn't even been three months. It's yeah. been day 68. So you'd be surprised what your body does when you cut out and eliminate all the extra yeah. excess that you probably don't even think is that bad. That's mm -hmm. one thing that's good about counting the macros. But I guess that's a future video for another time. Y'all here to see the results. So, It is day 73-ish, and I currently have a tooth back, so I cannot move. I've been like this for the past two days. You see, I'm in the gym for the first time this week, but- uh, She's uh, here for moral support today. for moral support. So like, I literally can't, I can't do anything. I can't lift nothing. But the crazy thing is, all I did was, I went down to pick up the water bottle, and I lifted my leg up, and I bent down. Instantly, my back tooth, I was in the gym Spasmed. when it happened. And worst pain ever so like I can't bend over like I can now I'm like kind of a little bit better today but I'm still in pain so I'm just here for moral support well thank you baby and I but, appreciate you yeah. <laughs> feels a little different when you're not hitting the weights with it it, is. it like makes I'm you want to eat bad yeah. when you're just stagnant like that sitting down and laying down she's been not getting that much good sleep yeah oh my gosh last night was horrible but I'm here because I'm gonna hit the hot tub a little later so I can get my back you know yeah, and that's what I was saying when you're in the hot tub. That's why when I'm in the hot tub, I stretch my hamstring, I stretch my quads, calves, all that stuff. It's like, because that's all tied to your back. So usually when you tweak your back, it's usually because of a chain reaction of other things that kind of try to. Ooh, like right there, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so. Let go, peanut. Yeah, ain't nothing but a peanut. Let go, peanut. Let go, baby. <laughs> that's inside jokes. Me and Jazz is what we do our Ronnie Kobe impressions when we hit the gym. So I gotta hit these abs now. Go ahead, go and get it now. Go and get your head to work. Go and get it. All right, you guys, well, we have reached the end of the road. We are gonna show you guys again what we looked like in the very beginning. After 90 days, 
this is what we look like. Day 90, baby. We did it. Three months straight. This is our first three months. Yes. And then our next three months will end, well, I guess start all over again. Yeah. And then, you know, we're going to just keep going. But this is the first three months. Mm -hmm. And then who knows what we're going to be looking like at six months. And then who knows what we're going to be looking like at nine, nine months. months. And then who knows what we're really going to be looking like at 12 months. There you go. So our goal is, like, obviously to keep pushing the envelope, right? Mm -hmm. We're not, we didn't just start and say, we're going straight, let's do this for 12 months straight. Right. Because that would seem very overwhelming and yes. a bit discouraging. So what we did, we said 90 days. Mm -hmm. So we have it literally in our notebook, in our weight, yes. with 90 days, with stars behind it. Not to say we wouldn't go further, but that was just like our goal. 90 days of going hard, eating right. Yeah, there's so. some tough days. Yes, there is. We've had our fair share. We've had some tough days. Days where I, I ate and went over numbers. Jazz ate, mm -hmm. went over numbers. Yes, yeah, it's, it's tough. But this is day nine. And that's why I say, like, we, we got to win our small battles in order to win our big wars, mm -hmm. right? So this small battle of 90 days mm -hmm. is celebratory. For sure. For most people out there that are working out for years, this is nothing to y'all. But the thing is, is we're not measuring, our measuring stick isn't based off other people. Mm -hmm. Our measuring stick is based off of us and our battles and our wars that we're winning. So in order mm -hmm. to win the big wins, mm -hmm. you know, the smart wins. The, the small wins, exactly. There you go, baby. Look, yeah. And we did it. Here we go. Like, she's fine. But yeah, I'm very proud of my wife. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Proud. My I'm proud of us. This is a big moment. Yes, so yes. now it is time to pop the hood. And we're not at our most optimal, optimal self. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, we're definitely optimal in comparison to where we were. For sure. It, there goes the saying where it says, um, we're not where we want to be, but we're far from what we used to be. So, this is where I'm at with it. Day 90. If I flex, you can see the abs. You see the obliques. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. I still got a little well blubber left on the bottom layer, but it's getting there. I ain't got no crazy, like, no. before I had a whole... And then I had the talking thing. Mm -hmm. I still got a little loose skin. I think that's father time though. Cause I've lost weight, my body composition's changed, but still got a little, you know what I mean? All in all, back fat tight, non-existent. If, mm -hmm. if I flex the back up, I'm looking a little, you know what I mean? Now, good, okay. baby. So if this is day 90, I'm telling you, it was day 120 That's four months. That's what mm -hmm. we're going up on next. That's the next milestone. That's the word I was looking for, milestones. There you go. We like to put different milestones in there. So, so stay motivated, stay encouraged, stay being goal driven. Because I think when you keep putting out new goals, I think that keeps you from getting stagnated. Because otherwise, if you reach a goal, a lot of times it's like my fourth time going from fit to fat to fit. But then this one was uh, special because all the other time was just a goal to get slim. And then I got slim, no pun intended. And then next time I'm like, okay, I'm here. And then I just fall back off on the bad eating and bad habits. So now this time, we've done it this time. And now we have goals after we get to our goal weight. And that's how we stay encouraged. That's how we keep going. Now it's your turn, baby. I've lost two inches in the waist and two inches in the hips so far. But this is where we're at. What's, you, what's your word? Shawty looking good. Ooh, ooh, woo. Look at that. Back fat non-existent now. No back rolls damn near non-existent. I'm telling you. Yeah. For the most part... 
And Jazz has a real good set of genetic abs. You can see it just right there, like on just the comp. Jazz has a good ass set of genetic shoulders and triceps. Her arms are amazing. Baby, you are a genetic specimen. Thanks, uh, I picked right. Even though you picked me, I picked you too. We picked each other. God anointed us together. She's so fine together. We're headed to the gym. Day night, you see you, whatever you feel like, clicking this thing back off.